everybody welcome back to the channel if you're new here i go by empress gem i drop the jewels scorpio singles you guys are up told you i'll be back scorpio summer rising venus and cross watchers because we know y'all here for love i love me a scorpio love my scorpios they don't like y'all like they don't like us gemini's Mwahahaha. but um general message guys in any event continue to show your good at love and support like comment share and subscribe to the channel if you would please um, hit up the website, book a reading, get it a bracelet. I even do customized ones, you know, we can discuss that in an email. But, um, yeah, body butters up there, candles coming soon, okay? But, um, Scorpio, y'all gave me a headache, and uh, I love my Scorpios, but y'all gave me a headache, like instant headache, and it, it felt more like anxiety, like y'all, single Scorpios, y'all got... A lot of suitors in your energy or you're like trying to I don't know like fill voids you're like trying to fill voids I feel like the there's one energy in particular that you could have friend zone very heavy but this person makes you feel good okay like I feel like with this person like you feel like you've known them forever or you could have known them forever but um, I feel like you friend zone the person who is ideal for you, the person who actually makes you feel warm inside, the person who supports you the most, the person that you ideally would want to be with. But I feel that you're being a jerk to this person, okay? You're trying to act like you're not phased or bothered. You don't want to be with this person. You're probably like leaving them on red, not communicating with them because again, you're entertaining other suitors, other possibilities, and this is possibly the person that you want to be with. But you being a tight ass is not going to get you any closer to the relationship or the connection that you are seeking right now. And you guys are tormenting yourself, okay? I feel that a lot of you guys need to continue to do a lot of healing here, okay? And just really focus on yourself. Start spending more time with your family and your friends. Like, just getting out and really enjoying yourself here. Because I feel the energy where you are, you're playing people, you plan. And this person that is your ideal match feels like you're playing. Okay. And you might miss out on this person. You might seriously miss out on this person because you're playing. So divine Holy Spirit, let's get into it for our Scorpios. Yeah. Like this person is like, whatever. If you want to be like that, that's cool. Like I'm still going to be strong and stand by myself. I also feel like that's a lot of the energy for you guys too as well. Um, solid, solid, solid. So you're just wanting something solid. But again, you guys need to be more vulnerable and open towards it, especially open towards the connections that you know are very um, important to you, that you can feel of high importance. You need to clean out the stuff that does not serve you anymore, okay? Because you're harboring or holding on to a lot of energy that is interfering with the true connection that you're supposed to have. I feel like the person is being non-biased. They're being understanding like you're single. You have all rights to do what you want to do. But in the same breath, Scorpio, you have to remember that this person is also single and has the right to do whatever that they want to do. Think about that. Think about how you're treating them and understand that they have the opportunity and a chance to go out and find their per perfect match or be with someone who is perfect for them as well, okay? So, Spirit, what is the message we have here for our Scorpio singles, please? One card for our Scorpio singles. What is the message? Open heartedness was the first card upright. Yeah, maturity. <laughs> Some of you guys are being very immature, being a jerk, okay? Like you're a lot of suitors, you're running a running a ring. I'm seeing a ring. <laughs> Like, you know, oh, this person don't answer today. I just call this person or not call this person. Like, I'm seeing, what what movie is that? Is that like State Property where he had the Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday. He named, he, instead of calling them by their names, he just call, like gave them all days. And that's what you're doing right here. But then you got this person who was really your Sunday to Sunday. You get what I'm saying? And they know that. And they also know that you're out here playing this game. Could be dealing with a Gemini as I'm looking at this open heartedness and I'm seeing this two up here. Okay, could have strong Gemini placements or dealing with a Gemini here. But I feel that you guys need to come and put it together. Like you don't, <sighs> yeah, because that one puzzle piece I'm looking at is looks like that's the person that you keep, that you put way out on the side compared to everybody else. But this is the person that's in the back of your mind that you know is the one, okay? 
the one that you friend zone. But you guys need to be more open again to the fact that you're being like this and being more open to the fact that you have this real love, that you friend zone somebody, okay? Your true soulmate energy here, your true partner. I feel like this person is very smart and intelligent. Okay, like Sari, very knowledgeable. You guys have a good time when you talk. Okay, conversation is never dull. Somebody wears glasses. Okay, but uh, I know that life and the people living it can be an absolute bummer sometimes. But I promise not to let unhappy chapters make me jaded. Scorpio energy heavy. I just seems Drake. <laughs> if I let negative experiences turn me sour, then the jerks win. So I'll move on with an open and hopeful heart. If only though, if only because I hate losing to jerks. Okay. I'm also picking up that that is your person's energy, that they are willing to move on and move away from the situation with you because you are being a jerk and they're not going to let the fact that, you know, you don't value them, stop them from moving on to love that they want. Like I said, by the end of the day, you guys compliment each other. OK, perfect match, compliment each other. And I feel like you know this and this person knows this. But again, there's you you need to do some healing you also need to speak up to this person and let them know and start giving them a little bit more attention because you have truly put this person on the back burner okay mm -hmm. i know how good it feels to get a compliment so i give that gift to others i'll find a nice compliment for everyone i interact with today even if i have to think really hard about it in which case i can follow up by complimenting myself for solving such a compliment puzzle wow i'm skilled could be a cat person, okay? But again, I'm still seeing that playing energy. Your back is turned to a situation. Yeah, your back is turned to this person who genuinely is, like, here to work with you. Like, help tame you, I'm even hearing. So you could be dealing with a Leo as well, have it in your chart. Yeah, because you out here just talking, talking to people, whatever, trying to fill a void, trying to get past, you know, past hurts or whatever, you know, could be out here screwing anything. Hate to say it that way. That's how it's coming off. Love bombing individuals only to get up and disappear and leave them heartbroken. OK, but again, this is some sort of codependency or some sort of addiction that you have dealing with, with stringing people along. Again, that's why I'm saying that you need to do some killing here. All right. All right. So, Spirit, let's look and thank you into the love life of our Scorpio. If you're going to give me the next two, that would be great, too. If not, oh, all right. So that lets me know that our past and our present is still somehow connecting. Yeah, so in the past, you started to, you know, do the healing. You know, started to see, you know, what the issues were of your childhood or doing that inner healing from your childhood or whatever. But you started to grow. You, you started to evolve, I feel, in this connection with someone that you had. Um, and trying to make it go to the next phase. But like I said, I feel like you instantly just friend zone somebody here, okay? Especially as I'm looking at this runner energy under here, just up and ditch this person, like left their ass, okay? Fear of intimacy, okay? Being a big ass jerk with that ego and feeling like, oh, well, I'm the shit. I can get whoever I want, anybody. Yeah, you probably can, but you're not going to get anyone who is like this person that you keep ignoring and keep hurting. I'm feeling like hurt. Okay, yeah, mask, because you're not showing your true feelings, okay? You're gaslighting this person, pretending or whatever, like you're not really interested when you really are. I feel that you can feel their energy like they feel yours with that smile and the frown. Again, still feeling that Gemini energy, that two-faced type energy, okay? But, um, yeah, I just feel like you're not really showing and telling this person how you feel, okay? With this runner dynamic here, being very codependent, all right? Still living in that codependent energy. You need to do some serious healing. Um, continue to heal. I feel like you could have came to a pause at some given point between the past and now. Yeah, because here we go. You're still going to move forward being in some sort of addictive energy come April. I feel like you're still not going to reach out to this person. You're still going to block them out. Yeah, because you're still replaying events from the past. Like you're still so stuck about situations in your past or, you know, how things went in your previous relationships that you're not really opening up and you're putting the wrong energy in the wrong position. And you're going to lose out on what it is that you have been looking for for your life or like what it is yeah for life what you've been looking for when it comes to love so you need to cool it whatever it is that you out here doing you need to slow down some of you guys especially if you're out here just sleeping with folks to like try to ease your pain okay be careful all right you need to think about some of them energies that you're sleeping with 
All right. So what does this new energy have to say to our Scorpio new person? Scorpio wants to know. Uh, Scorpio, you're all about your money and materialism. It's about what people can do for you, okay? You need to have a new perspective, especially if you want to have something new with me, okay? Understand that even though that you're all about, you know, thinking of what somebody can offer you, you need to understand that I have a lot to offer you too, okay? I have a lot of achievements and successes going on for me. But again, if you would just talk to me and open up, but instead you want to put me in this little box because you don't want to see me for who I am and see the value that I can really bring to your life. You'd rather still deal with these low lives and come and deal with me i'm trying to offer you something here scorpio but i don't know i just feel like you really want to use people or i feel like you know you're all about you know the material aspects you're still living so heavy in a 3d even though i feel like you're connecting heavy with this person on a 5d level here um could even tele telepathically talk to this person or like you know just always vision envision them and see them but they're just like, like, I feel like this person knows that you're all about like, you know, some sort of game or you're just out here for attention or whatever. And they're just like, look, you need to think about that, especially if you want to have something with me or whatever. Yeah, because I feel like you're manipulating me right now and I don't like the way it feels. You're not showing everything. Um, you're gaslighting me. OK, you're manipulating and it's heartbreaking and it hurts. OK, you need to help bring balance to this partnership if you want to be with me or I feel like this person is getting ready to walk away. Yeah, because you know that, like I said, with this tele telepathic communication, you already know how I feel. And if you want this, then you need to have this. I also feel for some of you Scorpio singles, you've been trying to manifest in this person. And they're saying like, look, you've been manifesting me in because you want something legit. But yet you're putting me in this box, okay? You you still are reliving your past and trying to place that on your present and your future. And it's like you keep calling me in. And then when I show up, you keep pushing me away. Like, what do you want here? All right? You know this and this person knows this, okay? It may not have been fully spoken, but I feel like intuitively you both know this. So could be dreaming about this person. I'm hearing astral projection, astral traveling and dreams here. Okay, but some something is about to go down. All right, I feel like this person may be coming in, or you might receive some sort of download or message that is going to like light a fire under your ass, or um, just make you really open your eyes and see something. But I don't really see that taking place until like the end of the month, possibly with a full moon energy here. So, be more kind and loving, Scorpio. Um, Go watch your health. Go get checked. I'm hearing for some of you guys. Go get checked, especially if you know you've been out here sleeping around. Um, yeah, so spirit, let's close out for our Scorpios. What's the attitude? Thank you. It says, don't talk to anyone and don't look at anyone. You need some fucking alone time and you know why. Because you keep giving your energy to the people who you're not supposed to. It's like you're trying to fill this void. You need to ground yourself. Whatever you're thinking about doing, don't do it. Stop messing with these empty vessels I'm hearing, okay? Because you need your people around, real people. That's why I said family support. You need to continue to heal. Go hang out with your family and those friends that you know you grew up with. You know, you went to college or high school or whatever, or, you know, just... Even if it's your own children, if you're an older individual and it's just your kids, like just go hang out with folks and stop trying to fill that love void with all these empty vessels because you're pouring into them and you're creating these bonds. And for some of you guys, you're creating karmic type bonds and you're also um, creating energy um, dividers and like blockages that is stopping you from getting to your true perfect match here. All right. So yes, Scorpio, that has been your message. I know y'all know what to do with this. If you need to book a personal, all that information listed below, you know, I'm here for it. Come shop with your girl, highlight your girl and all that good stuff. And until the next time we speak, peace out.